It's been a fixture on the Northern Ontario art scene for three decades, but now the Whitewater Gallery in North Bay is in trouble. The CTV Sydney Mails reports the gallery could be forced to shut its doors for good. Dan Elzinga wants the Whitewater Gallery to return to what it was meant to be. We're a way for emerging and experimental artists to find a venue or a way to get their new and experimental work exposure in the, in the public. The Whitewater Gallery has seen many ups and downs in its 30-year history and much of them financial. But the problem these days isn't money. It's getting people actively involved. Financially, we're healthy. You know. The gallery has 75 members, but what it needs is people to sit on its board of directors. That way, the gallery can access grant money it needs to stay alive. The solution could lie with young artists hungry for a place to show their work. Liz Ashworth educates student art teachers at Nipissing University. She sees a link between the gallery, the university, Canada College and local high schools as the way to the future. It's not just learning about creating art, it's learning about what do you do with it when you're done. You just hang it on the fridge, do you need to give it to your mom or, or do you want to go out and learn about selling it or at least showing it and, and sharing it with the community. Just like its pristine white walls, the gallery's future is a blank canvas, one ready to showcase the work of local artists, if enough people are willing to play a part in the gallery's future. Cindy Mills, CTV News, North Bay. And the Whitewater Gallery has called an emergency meeting for tomorrow night at 7 to discuss the future.